How you doing? My name is Samuel Bonilla. I'll be showing you today a project we've completed for our associate's degree. We call this the storage box Duino. And pretty much what it is, is basic circuitry put together to open any box in this, any drawer in the storage box. As you can see, the reason we call it storage box Duino is because it's controlled by a microcontroller called Arduino with two easy drivers to run the stepper motors we've integrated on them pretty basic circuitry you can research online to find how to put these bad boys together with Arduino and make it work properly as I move over here you see one stepper motor we have which is our Y if you pretty much think about it as a graph you have your x axis and your y axis that's what you have here a y axis and an x axis we've also integrated a servo here which is pretty much just back and forward to open the drawer once it gets to the coordinate i want to thank my partner mario lopez for coming up with the frame building the frame integrating the stepper motors and the servo he's actually custom built this frame custom built this box and I've taken care of the programming and circuitry aspect As you can see it's pretty cool setup we use this closet door sliders here so it can have free flow to move left or right and he's made this base here to mount not only to mount the servo but so it can flow up and down Okay, as you can see. Alright, so we have our voltage source over here, which is we're at a power source. We set it to 12 volts to power the motors through the easy drivers. Once we go over here to the Arduino program IDE, you can see this is the beginning of our program. You can see, if you know a little bit about programming, I use arrays to set predetermined values through trial and error that I tried. So, going through the program, we begin using the switch statement. As you can see, case 1 and case 2 there are very helpful in this kind of concept we're trying to use so once you input either one or two in the serial monitor the program will read that and send the signal to the Arduino as you will see in a bit I'll connect Arduino to the computer and then it's going to go ahead and forward X run that forward Y run that and I'll sweep the servo to open the drawer, then reverse X and reverse Y. A pretty basic concept. Took us about three weeks, three to four weeks to get the final program done. Alright, so let's see how this works. Alright. So I'm pretty much going to connect the Arduino to our computer here. Well, port's taken up. Alright, connected it there. Give it a couple seconds for it to connect and read the COM port and so forth. Alright. So as I taught us in ITT Tech, always go through the basic steps, which is save your program, verify it, As you can see down here, it's verified. It's done compiling. Then go ahead and upload it to the Arduino. Alright, there you go. See, the process is done. Done uploading. Now we want to go over here to open the serial monitor. This is the way we're going to communicate with the storage box. So as we've seen earlier, we have case 1 and case 2. So just to get a little taste of how this works, we'll try the short distances first. So 
So let's go ahead and input two. And we'll go over here, as you can see, the X axis motor begins to turn, which is moving the base to a coordinate and the Y axis. So pretty much it's that. Open that drawer there, it'll sweep open, sweep forward and sweep back. And it'll go back to the preset position. See the X axis moving here. And then the Y axis goes back. That's a little taste. Short distances that it moves. Now let's go ahead and uh, do the longer distances on this. And show what it really can do. Alright, so we go here. And again, since this was our you know storage box we wanted to put resistors in it so we go ahead and uh, I went ahead and uh, set the program to output please enter the resistor value you can change that to anything alright so let's go ahead and put oh we just put two so I want to put one now and push enter as you can see the x-axis motor begins first as you remember the program, the forward X begins turning. There you go. As you can see, it begins to move. Good distance now. A better view here of how it moves. It's pretty much going to go to the column where you see that circular dot there. And once it gets to that column, the X axis stepper motor will stop and the Y axis will start. Come on now. Stop. There it is. There it is. Alright, there's the Y. As you can see it turning. You can hear a little bit. It needs some grease up in that. But it's fine for now. So pretty much it's going to go down to where you see that dot. And then the servo will take over, sweep forward, sweep back. Then it will return to that preset position. And then this took us pretty much about six weeks, six weeks to complete. Thanks to Mario Lopez. Did a great job with the frame. Did a great job building everything. I implemented the circuit. So, we're very happy with this project, this being our first big project we've done. So you see the sweep forward, sweep back, that opens a drawer for you. Again, you can use this concept to just get an idea of what you want to do for your capstone or just get an idea of what you want to do for do-it-yourself projects with Arduino. And as you can see, it's going back now. We could use a different threaded rod so it can move faster, more, you know, higher turn ratio. But for the purpose of this project, we're, we're okay with this. So it stops, the Y starts, and I'll go back up and wait for the next command. Again, most of these parts, most of the, the, the parts we're using here, you can get them on online. The step promoters, we order them online, the servo online, the Arduino online. Uh, for the frame, Home Depot is a good place to get all the wood and materials. How to do some welding. And again, thanks to Mario Lopez. Did a great job in that. 
And also thanks to Francisco Espinal, helped us out a lot. And there you go. Let's wait for the next command. Well, I appreciate you looking at this video. Hopefully you got some, you know, cool ideas or any projects you might want to do for school, for yourself. And just, once you get on it, it's just a matter of time where you got to make everything work. It takes persistence. As you can see, this was not done overnight, so done over six weeks. So, thanks again. Have a good one. Till the next time.